Hey, what's up guys? RJ here, back with yet another video. This time it's going to be a little different. This is going to be the first video in a three-part series. I want to share my journey of passing or failing the FAA Aeronautical Knowledge Test with you guys. And God willing, result in me getting my Part 107 certification. So let's take a look at Stage 1 right after this. So welcome back guys. For those who may not know, the FAA has opened up a pathway for those wanting to engage in what they consider commercial activities with the UAV, aka drone, and to do so legally. Apparently, and I know just the tiny bit of this, and hopefully I got it right, this new Part 107 certification pathway is significantly easier and much more obtainable over the previous, I think, 333 exemption system, uh, which from what I understand, again, very little, can involve thousands of dollars and require the UAS operator to take the path, the, the training path, of a manned pilot. And, and, and I gotta tell you, I briefly looked at that FAA Aeronautical Knowledge Handbook, which is like 500 pages not only is it 500 pages, it passes references to other sections over and over and over again. So as I'm looking through it, I'm thinking, what manner of dialect is this? For example, I see this word called METAR, and I'm like, isn't that a dinosaur? Anyway, for those like me who know nothing about aeronautical, um, topics. Uh, it's like a different language. Needless to say, it's daunting and quite frankly got me downing if this was even obtainable for me. So I knew I needed help. Just about all the information I found online is geared to those who have previous aeronautical knowledge or experience. So that's where Gold Seal Remote Ground School comes into play. Russ contacted me to see if I would be interested in taking their remote pilot ground school study program. Russ seems quite confident his study course is up to the challenge and is strong enough to even prepare someone like me who knows nothing to take me basically from noob to UAS pilot. So after doing a brief look at Gold Seal's website, I've got to say, they seem like the real deal. They've been in the pilot training business for over 10 years, and I'm pretty sure it's all they do. The instructors look like they are all FAA certified flight instructors, which is awesome. So these guys have been around for a while and didn't just pop up into existence uh, when the remote pilot certification was announced. So there are a bunch of different training programs out there. And with what appears to be varying degrees of professionalism. So let's go take a look, a brief look, at their website. Okay, guys, this is Gold Seals uh, Ground School's website, their landing page. Their, the URL is onlinegroundschool.com. And the landing page has, it looks like it's split down the middle. The left side appears to be for the private pilot ground school and the right side, which is the side that I'm interested in, is the remote pilot ground school. They have a little uh, introductory video here that you can watch. Pass your part 107 test, become a commercial pilot, remote pilot, that is. Uh, the test is hard, but gold seal makes it easy. We'll see about that. So it appears that it's broken down well into what appears uh, six sections. Looks like four lesson sections with various uh, module counts within. Let's take a look at their bullet points. So it looks like the Gold Seal Remote Pilot Ground School is developed and taught by FAA certified flight instructors. Awesome. Don't settle for anything less. 
here's what you get with Cold Seal. So it looks like they have 30 plus videos and animated lessons, unlimited quizzes and full practice exams. Every quiz is stored for later review. Print out PDFs containing your questions you missed. Gold Seal's automated flashcards. Mm, definitely interested in those. Uh, downloadable lesson notes and resources. Downloadable chapters from the FAA textbook. Bonus video. It looks like they got a lithium battery that catches fire. Uh, full coverage of the FAA Airman cert, uh, certification standards. Uh, certification of completion signed by an FAA CFI. That's, I believe that stands for Certified Flight Instructor. I could be wrong. 24-7 access, which is really important. I like this. It's study at your own pace and uh, the results are stored in cloud, so you don't necessarily have to be at the same computer to access the information, which I think is fantastic. And this is also very good. Uh, telephone and email support. <laughs> I may be phoning a, a friend here on this one. And it looks like you get a free test drive. It looks like you can take your first two lessons for free. So here's an important thing here. So you've got full access for four years. So you pass your initial test and your next two recertification tests with gold seal confidence. So you, you have to pass, you have to retest every two years, I believe, for part 107 certification. So that's nice that the, the um, cost that you pay which currently is $249. Yeah, it's a bit steep, but from looking at the website and the stuff that's offered, I think that it could possibly be quite a good deal, um, but we shall see. So it looks like they have a frequently asked question area. So let's go ahead and I think the, the first thing you need to do before anything is to create a login an account with them and uh, you can see pretty straightforward register I've already done so so I will go ahead and log in okay so this is the landing page for the ground school for the remote pilot so this is where all the fun is so again it looks like it's broken down into four main lesson sections with each section containing uh, various modules. Let's take a look at section one. So section one, I will, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to click on this, but click to start and it looks like you can get to each section right from within the previous section, which is nice. So you don't have to keep going back to the, uh, the home page there. So it looks like section one has seven Lesson module, section two, eight, section three, nine, and section four, five lesson modules. They have some practice quizzes, which I will be taking probably <laughs> numerous times. Oh, look at that. Understanding METARs. Oh, and TEFs. Hmm, I guess it's not a dinosaur. So, uh, a library looks like. Um, Lots of materials, resources in their uh, library section. And of course, I would assume that, yeah, this would tell me my progress throughout the study in each section and for each um, module within that section. So it looks like it's very well laid out with number five being the final exam where you looks like you can take practice exams and then of course the final and then of course the course completion where you receive your certificate of completion so yeah looks like a pretty well laid out website so I would encourage you to uh, register and try the first two 
lessons. They're absolutely free. I'm going to see, I'm going to talk to Russ and see if I can't work out um, getting a discount for you guys. That I will, uh, I will post in the second video of this three-part series. All right, guys, let's go back to the screen. So welcome back. So as you can see, a very well laid out uh, website. Uh, I really look forward to getting starting on it. I'm going to start right after this video uploads. So I'm really hoping Gold Seal's expertise in the way of their experience gives them a huge advantage in knowing exactly how to provide the necessary study information and present it in a way that even I can learn it. I am just, I am not interested in cramming for a test just to pass the test. I'm committed to learning and understanding all that is required of me of the FAA. So in full disclosure, Russ was gracious enough to allow me to take the study course at no charge in return for a completely unbiased review. I emphasized to Russ my need of transparency for an unbiased review. And he responded with, a fake review is of no value to us, which is exactly what I wanted to hear. So there it is, guys. The next episode in this series will be around the midpoint of my studies. And uh, hopefully I'll have a, a really good, not hopefully, I should have a really good idea of how well the program is progressing, the information that's provided, and in the way that it's provided to me, whether or not I feel like I'm learning and preparing for the test. And then the, the following review, that'll be the, the, uh, the third video, will be after I pass or fail the test. So until next time, guys, take care.